Good morning, Coyote Nation. I hope and pray that on this day, April 28th, you are doing extremely well. If we are following our current school calendar, seniors, after today, you only have 13 school dates remaining on your schedule. The rest of you, 18. I don't know about you, but it has been a challenge to sort through all the news reports about what is really going on with our current pandemic. Is it almost over? Is it expecting to last a whole nother year? One expert says it only needs 70 days for this virus to come and go. And then another says we're only scratching the surface of this virus. It could be at least six months before we start to know anything real about this COVID-19. Are we almost done with our online learning? Or are we planning on doing this until January 2021? So much is out there. What is the truth? When you listen to the politicians, you can get the same feeling. Who is really telling the truth? What is real news? What is fake news? Ah, enough about politics. What is the truth? If you had a chance to watch the NFL draft over the weekend, there was another scenario where you are not sure what to believe about how well your team did in the draft. One report will say that your team nailed it. Every pick they made was exactly what they needed to be successful. Then another report rips your team apart saying what it, that it was the worst draft ever for your team and you should expect to have another losing season. What is the truth? Thankfully, all those things I mentioned previously may seem important to us at some time in our life, but not as important as the one thing needful in our life, and that is our salvation. We have something and someone that we can always trust to speak and be the truth. That something is the Word of God, and that someone is Jesus Christ. When it comes to what is the most important truth we need to have in our life, we need to focus on what is going to carry us through our earthly life and into our eternal life. We need to focus on the truth that is going to help us through our daily struggles. We need to focus on the truth that is going to remind us that everything we have done wrong in our life, our sins, have been paid for by the one we can call the truth. Ruth, Jesus. Our section of scripture that I want you to focus on today is found in John 14, verses 1 through 6. Times are getting tough for the disciples, and they were not sure what to expect in these upcoming days. So Jesus takes the time to comfort them. We read from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. And then Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Our salvation is won for us by the truth of God's word, and that truth is found in, found in and is Jesus Christ, your Savior. Let that guide you through these times of uncertainty. Let's pray. Dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Guide us with your truth every day of our earthly life, and lead us to our eternal home with you. Amen. And one other truth. If you were not sure if Mr. Hine is wearing Hawaiian shirts every day when he's not working, yes, he is. This is the one I wore yesterday. I haven't quite decided which one I'll wear today. Enjoy your week.